Hey there you guys, welcome back. <laughs> uh, right now we're going to look at uh, the Ammo for Phallus Conjac bulb. Uh, it has since died down into itself. This is the lovely pot that it's in, I apologize. I will link a video or two photos or something uh, showing you what it looked like in the middle of uh, summer. Uh, it was a pretty impressive plant, not huge. I think it only got to be maybe a foot and a half, two feet tall maybe two feet. Um, now it is just down to a bunch of nothing. So I wanted to bring you guys in and I wanted to uh, to take this bulb out of, uh, or corm, out of, out of the soil and I want to see how much it's grown. So I will at the end of this video or maybe just down right here uh, post a um, a link to the video of when we first planted it so that we could see the, the, the size comparison to how much it actually grew. I know that the main plant uh, grew and died before um, everything else and it did produce three side bulbs. So uh, what I do know is that the Conjac, Amorphophallus Conjac, is a very prolific um, multipl uh, <clears throat> excuse me, multiplier. So let's see how it actually is. I'm going to throw these old leaves into the compost and I'm going to move the camera down so that uh, you guys can see what's going on. So the soil is, is pretty well, oh no, it's still a little bit moist. I thought it would be completely dry. I haven't watered this since uh, I brought it in. Let's tip it out and see what we got. Sometimes it's best to store these bulbs um, in a dry environment, so that's that's kind of why I'm taking them out. I want I don't want them to uh, to rot. I could have done this a little bit sooner, but uh, the leaves didn't die till till just a few weeks ago. Okay, here we go. This is where the magic is. How many bulbs do we have? A lot of times you'll find that you'll get some rot in amongst, and that's okay. Usually they multiply so much that uh, I usually have the parent bulb uh, die, and then all of its offsets usually survive. Carefully taking the soil away. I did notice a couple of little soft spots, but uh, hopefully nothing to be afraid of. I don't want to remove these from the parent, the babies from the parent plant just yet. I want to let them have maybe two seasons worth of growing before I uh, set them out on their own. Wow, this is growing really cool. They're almost like little spaceships. It's like the USS Enterprise. Okay. Almost there. I'll give you guys a closer look. Again, be very, very careful. You don't want to break off any uh, any growth tips or anything. Remove all the dead roots. Wow. Okay, so this is a really interesting bulb. I say it looks like the USS Enterprise. These are the two, uh, uh, what do they call them, those side things, the thrusters. I am not a space junkie, but uh, this is the main part of it. These are the back part of it. So much fun. Anyway, this is the main bulb, this big guy. It, it got to be fairly decent size. Um, I think when I first planted it, I think it was maybe, um, I don't know, an inch and a half, maybe two inches wide, and now it's it's probably three inches, 
and much deeper. It's a really it's it's really sizable now. And I've got nice growth nice nice growth points on each of the babies here. There's also a nice growth point on here on the old one. And then as I move it around, there's going to be a new bulb here and there's all kinds of little pink new growths all over the place. So this is going to to really turn into something fantastic next year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this uh, first I'm going to leave it on a paper towel let it dry out and then I'm going to store it in a paper bag so that it uh, doesn't get too much moisture and then uh, I think uh, early March maybe mid-March I will pot this up again and uh, hopefully have it start to grow so that uh, by the time it goes outside in um, early May is when I'll start putting stuff out I'll have this ready to to go it'll be starting to send out new leaves anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did this is really cool and uh, if you grow any amor for phallus I would love to know about it because these are really cool plants if you'd grow the Titan oh that is a beautiful plant uh, and I'd love to see photos these are these are really incredible and sometimes the bulbs can get so big I'd love to see photos of uh, the, the huge bulbs maybe some of the flowers that you have uh, really really interesting bizarre bizarre plants so anyway, happy growing everyone, and uh, stay tuned for more updates.